Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time. That's right. It's Friday and it's time for another edition of Friday's Fine. Probably the only day uh, that we're gonna have sun <laughs> for the next week. Let's open some boxes and see what, what kind of stuff we've got to play with. So our first box, it's a big white box. And it is from Danson Ship. Danson Ship, let's see what they have sent for us to play with. Actually, I know what's in here. Uh oh, we gotta turn it the other way. Can't have Amazon seeing that barcode. Check it out. Now this is this is gonna come in real handy down there at, 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 at Tranquility Base. It is that is a bona fide mailbox if I ever saw one. It's actually a lot deeper. This may be the deepest mailbox I've ever seen. Comes with a post. Pretty long. And we have a flag, and we have a handle, and we have post mount. So let me do some assembly required, and we will we'll be back to this one. Move it right along. No, Nervizi. Nervizi. Amazon store, they're busy. They want to get in on Yappy's cooking stuff. They have sent us, oh, got, a, got a barcode there. They have sent us a nine speed hand mixer with all kinds of goodies. Look, are those what's in that box? Actually, what they're showing is we've got three different attachments. We've got a whisk, we've got the beater, and we've got the kneaders. I know she's gonna like that color. Oh, and check it out. It has a, a stand. There's the, the mixer. And it comes with this stand that contains all of the stuff. So they don't just go and do a drawer. Well, there's all of our stuff. So we got, we got the, the, neat, the dough hooks. We've got the beater for licking frosting. And we have one whisk. So you only need one whisk. It's so good. Ah, it goes like this, so you can put the cord in it. Yes, it does. I see. I'm not. I'm not doing it right. I, I'm not holding my. You gotta hold your mouth this right. It, it, you gotta go. Get, get, get your mouth on the right. There we go. All right. Have to seek out wifely assistance with this one. It's it's not that I don't know how to make a cake. It's that she doesn't like me making a mess in her kitchen. All right, got a couple more boxes. V4, tough tools, half price. Let's see what V4 has sent us for this edition. A Friday's fine. It's an airplane. No, what's in what's making all that racket? It's an airplane. I think this just might make Yappy really happy. Or or maybe not. I don't know. We'll, we'll know until we get it out there. Seems there's some assembly required. Let me put it together and I'll be back. The Vivor Pet Transportation System. You can look right in there. You see Fluffy, Fleefy, or Fleefly? Fleefly! So this is a zipped enclosure here. If you don't want to mess with that, looks like you can unzip the back side. Maybe. 
we'll have to get Yappy and the Ratty Pack involved with this. It does have suspension though. Check this out. So your puppies, your babies won't be, at least on the front. They won't be subject to rough campground streets. So we'll have to get Yappy's input on this. Uh, we'll do that at the same time as we do the mixer. Meanwhile, two more boxes. There's going to be a little, a little too big to put up on platform. So I'll unbox it right here. Igor, tough tool, half price. Some assembly required. <laughs> let me let me let me do the assembly. So there it is. This piece down here in the bottom, they call the the bed. It's but it's got this paper. Had to have a hair dryer to get it to release. This is pretty cool. We need to look at it after dark. So we can turn the sound off, make it brighter. And we have heat. Uh, that's, I just put that on there for safety so it doesn't fall. I like this one. I like that a lot. After dark, we'll check it out. Pretty dang realistic. That is quite realistic. Steel box assembly is complete. All we need are some house numbers. A name and a house number. Actually went together fairly simply. It's got a little latch. Now it is, it does need the post and the box are just kind of stuck together. So I would recommend putting like a self-tapping screw in there. But now yeah, it is sufficient to get your mail delivered. 
you're going to want to probably put that in some concrete when you put it in the ground i dropped it on the grass earlier got got a little bit of stuff on it there we are with the the male flag up although looking at this now I, i'm pretty sure that should have gone underneath it wasn't real clear on that but now looking at it yeah it should have gone inside that little slit yeah males are coming we need to go check out this we need to go check out this other thing so we were really impressed with the amount of heat that this vivor fireplace puts out this this puts out quite a bit of heat i really like the flame display this is not this is a nice setup it's a great investment for the money you'll be happy with it i know we are there's one more box it's also from vivor tough tools half price the retractable patio awning there is uh some assembly required so i gotta read all this and figure this out Vivor, tough tools, half price. Now, mind you, this is not the, the final location. This location is for the purpose of this video. I'm not quite ready to mount it permanently down on our 10 acre property for various reasons that's irrelevant to this video. But this is a temporary location, so you'll notice I've got it secured kind of temporarily. This is a very cool product. I'm very, yeah. These things are spring loaded, so it opens up real easy. It's a little more challenging to crank it back in, but that's good. That way it stays tight. It's pretty stable. Now the kit comes with heavy duty uh, anchors so you can anchor it into brick there's a couple of things you need to know it, when it's packed these arms like i said they are they're spring loaded and there is a warning there's a there's a zip tie and shrink wrap on there and it says warning 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 but it, <laughs> it doesn't say anywhere it's not real clear as to what that warning's about so if you cut those cut those wraps this thing will fly out and if you just if you happen to be in the wrong place it can do some damage so be careful when you're unboxing this the instructions are kind of vague as to how this end piece fits in there because you're working upside down when you're assembling this in on the floor before you hang it up so you want the the curve to match this curve you'll notice it's got a rounded in in part it's rounded here that so it'll tuck up against the drum when you're threading the fabric note which way the the seam is sewn it'd be it's much easier to slide these into the channel from this direction so you're not hanging up I mean, it'll, it'll interrupt you a little bit. It won't shut you down if you come in from the wrong direction, but it's simpler if you're sliding it so that the seam is in countering the end when you're putting it on, if that makes sense. The same goes for this one here. So you got that fabric edge, so you want to be sliding it in so the fabric edge is not hanging up on the various spots. And you can turn the valance over so that the label is on the inside. I, I personally, I personally would have preferred if the label had been a sticker or something. But it's not. I like it, I like it a lot. It's gonna come in real handy when we get down to the 
land on the full on a full time basis. Tell us about the Vivor Pet Carrier. I am so excited. Ziva is too because now when it's pouring rain or we just want to take a hike and they're tired, you just stuff them in here. Get in. I don't, I don't know that we could get pecs in that. Yeah, we could. Get in. Get, well, she's not happy now because she, she's like, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. I was ball, just starting to play. It's Hang ball on, time, Mama's gonna mama. me in this. Where's the, how do I, oh, I forgot it's right here. Get in, you're good. No, we don't. So we're gonna force her into this little <laughs> container. <laughs> And, we, and for situations like this, we can lock the wheels. Nice. There are brakes. We did this differently last time. <laughs> She's ready. Not really. <laughs> oh, You're okay. No. Probably her, her brother's screaming because it's time to play. You know what? It's called B-A-L-L. -L. Okay, hop in. Get in. Come on. We're going to go for a ride. Let's go. You like this. Yeah. She, she, was, she, she was excited about it the other day. Not so much but today. They were playing. That's they were playing in the car. Okay, Ziva, let's go. You ready? Yeah, Look you, at this. You gotta take the brakes off. Oh, take the brakes off. There's one more. Oh, there we go. You gotta, you gotta pick up. There oh, you look, go. and it has cups and little look. Hi! Hi Ziva, so you can see me. This is cool. I like this. And then it opens up here too. What are you doing? And then you can, oh, down here too, see? Look, get her. What are you doing? You're good. Her brother's screaming. I like this. And this will, it'll fold flat, so it'll fit in the back of the car. Yeah. And just in, in, in every one of our small RV un spaces underneath. That'll work, yes. We can tuck it in there with the lawn chair. Well, what's handy with this is that, let's say it's sunny or it's really hot, or you have your dog out all day at a park, and, and you got other animals and kids and things. This is how you can get them out of it and protect them, you know, because maybe they don't, they're, you know, you don't need to just walk them everywhere and you just want to have them beside you. And then you just want to get up and go. This is wonderful. Well, let's stroll on over here and talk about this other. Look over here, come on. Don't run over my little, my little F-150. Look, Ziva. So tell me, what are your thoughts on the v Vibor? Oh, canopy. I am excited about this. What, what will this attach to? Everything, right? Uh, it'll, it'll go on the side of any building. I wouldn't put oh. this on the side of an RV. Right, right. Because it's, it's, it doesn't stow up. Now, if you go over and you crank that handle, okay. you can pull it in. This, this thing is spring loaded, so oh, okay. it makes nice. it, when it, oh, when it goes out, it's real easy to deploy. Yeah. This is great for our green box. We're, we've got a storage building that we're using to store it. And if it's raining, this is going to cover the front. Nice. It gives us a little more patio, a little you more. Take it all the way in? If you want to, you don't have to. A <laughs> little bit of workout. That's okay. It, it was it was a bit of a, a assembly project because the instructions are, yeah. <laughs> They're, they were not e e detailed. We learn on everything. Yeah, and it's holding tight. This is pretty sturdy. Oh, it's it's this is sturdy, it's, dude. It's good. It's a well-built piece of equipment. Let's go cook some food. Here's what I'm doing to test out this mixer. I'm gonna make some egg cups. And basically, we're just gonna whip up these eggs, and I'm gonna. Put them in this little cupcake tin. I'm going to add in some bacon and a cheese blend. thickening stuff to it. A softened melted stick of butter and a half a stick of cream cheese. Oh, 
think I'm going to add, kind of thicken it up a little bit, put a little egg white powder in there. We need to try the whiskey thing, the whisker. Whoa, that's all. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> I calculated one egg per cup. Uh, I think I may have over, overdid it a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to mix in. This is a, an Italian cheese blend I found at Sam's. All right. A bunch of bacon. Gotta have lots of bacon. All right, I'm gonna pop that in the oven 350 degrees for half an hour. Grabbed the camera when they came out of the oven because this one, they were like <laughs> that tall. <laughs> I was like, oh, I thought it was gonna fall over. It, it, it looks good though. Had to give it a try, I'll let you know. About out of battery, hey, we're done. All these items are available on Amazon. Really like that mixer. It worked really great. These products are available on Amazon. I'll provide you with a link in the card and in the description. You got to click that little more button down there to see what's in the description. That link will take you to the Friday Spines shopping list on the Dude RV Gear Recommendations Amazon page. Your business is most appreciated. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so very much. I really appreciate your, I appreciate your, your time and your interest. And for my patrons, I'm so grateful for your generosity. You guys rock. All right. Y'all come back now, you hear?